Real quick, high pressure nitrogen decay test. 1989 Mercedes 560 SL. 14,000 original miles on this vehicle. So I'm banking on through experience that there's no big leak and it was all seepage. This is the second video. You have to go back and look over the first video where I did the explanation of everything I was doing in the visual uh, and what I expected to find. So I pumped it up to 189 PSI on the high side. Now I'm gonna go into the vacuum decay test. There's tightness test. You hit the tightness test, hold it down until it changes. There, you now change. You see 189.4. Now I'm gonna start the timer and I'm gonna start the test. So it says, press enter to start test. So see enter, I'm gonna start enter. Now the minutes and seconds countdown, and this is the amount of loss of nitrogen in the system. Now this system came in with 43 PSI of pressure in it. That, and the outside ambient temperature, I think is 65 degrees now, 66 degrees. And the engine was driven and it was driven over here and parked. So with a hot engine and it being 68 degrees, if you look at your PT chart, you should not have 43 or 46 PSI of pressure in the system. That tells you there's no saturated refrigerant in the system. It is completely vapor, almost empty, basically one or two ounces. That's it. And um, so I reco recovered because it's R12 and it's valuable. I still sell Ultra, Ultra R12. God damn, a tongue twister there. And uh, so every ounce counts. And so the two ounces that came out of the system, I get. Then, and it's out of a, what, two pound system, uh, chassis number model. We have a 212 chassis model. So we come over here to 212. Oh, look, let's, there we go. 212. Nope, did I look at the wrong thing? 107. 107 chassis. 107 chassis, 2.2 pounds. If it was R12. If I'm retrofitting it to R134, it'll be a little less. It'll just be over around two pounds. Um, what else? Okay, as we can see here, if we look back here, we're one minute and 40 seconds. 0, 0.0 PSI of pressure have been lost in one minute. For, I'm good to go under pressure. I was good to go. I got down to 500 microns really fast because nobody touched this. And uh, so it's a dry system and it's mineral oil. All you new guys who started in this business after POE oil and PAGL won't know the difference. But when a system was dry and it has mineral oil, it, you'll be able to get down to like 100 microns really fast because it's dry and it's mineral oil holds like 10,000 times less moisture than POE oil. Um, that's about it. I'm gonna bleed out the refrigerant, put it back under vacuum again. So that'll be the second vacuum. This is the first nitrogen that I've had in there. And then I'm gonna do a triple purge and adjust because this did have R12 in it. I'm gonna bring it down below 500 microns. Then I'm just gonna put some nitrogen through the high side. The low side will be closed. And I've made videos on this before. That's why I'm not gonna show you right now. I'm just gonna tell you. Hi, uh, nitrogen through the high side, bring it up until it's about zero PSI, one PSI close the high side and vacuum through the low side and repeat that three times. This will outgas 99.9% .9 of gas that is still in the system, preparing it to be retrofitted on. Then leave it on the vacuum pump, get it down to 100 microns and then go from there. All right, we'll come back on the next video, which should be the third video after this.